Hello everybody, I am back with another Dumpster Dive haul. I know it's been a while, um, <laughs> it seems that's how it's been going, but life is still not back to normal. I will never leave dumpster diving or posting my videos, it just might be a week or two or however long in between my videos, but I promise I will always be back and I will keep posting videos for you guys and I will keep finding stuff and I actually have tons of stuff to film. I can't guarantee that it'll be up right after this video, but I will get it up eventually, and I have been finding some great things. Um, I hope everybody is staying safe and happy. Uh, Michigan is pretty much opened. Um, on the 25th of June is when gyms and I think movie theaters can open, and I, I want to say that's the last rollout. Um, so we are pretty much open. I think everybody else is pretty much in the same boat, Every all the other states. Um, so I hope you're all, all, you are all doing well with that. Um, and with that means that most stores are throwing things away again. <laughs> and a lot of them are destroying, which is sad, but um, I'm still able to find some cool stuff. So we're going to call this haul a Thirsty Thursday haul. <laughs> Even though I might not post it on a Thursday, we'll see. But I have a lot of drinks and drink things, um, which is exciting. So let's start right here. This is actually toilet paper, as you can see. Um, not drink related, but toilet paper related. <laughs> it came from this store. And the packaging's a little dirty. There might be one or two rolls that are a little dirty because it is ripped right here, as you can see. Um, they wrote something on it. Uh, I can't really tell what that says. A, Not really sure, but it's garbage, well, according to them. However, to me, this is awesome. I will definitely use that. That's just the store brand, and then underneath that is Scott Tissue. 12 rolls in here. There were 32 rolls in here, but I'm going to say maybe about 20 left, so... That is great and will definitely be put to use in my home. Um, same with this one. It's ripped open, so this part right here, you know, I might tear off and throw away, but still a great find. Not super plush toilet paper or anything by any means, but I am not picky. So let's get right back here. These all came from the pharmacy. Actually, let's start right here. This came from Facebook Marketplace. Somebody was giving it away for free. I don't know about you guys, but people have been getting rid of so much stuff recently. Um, so I got it. It's these cute, tiny little coasters for drinks. And it just has Michigan in it with this pretty turquoise inlay. Um, I think it's super cute. Wood. And then this tiny little sign, it says, it is what it is. Which, so true. <laughs> it is what it is. That's how life goes. But I thought those were really cute, so I grabbed those for free from Facebook Marketplace. Now, to the dumpster dive haul. Um, before we get to the fun stuff, let me show you these. I honestly thought that these were, like, the little smelly things that you put in the vent of your car to make your car smell better, but they are not. <laughs> They're toothbrush protectors, which is also fine, um, but I definitely don't need six of them at the moment. So maybe I'll see if my family wants some. Um, but, yeah. You just put it over your toothbrush to prevent the, you know, the gross things in the bathroom from getting on it and keeping it clean. Those are cool. Now back to this. This came from the pharmacy. I actually had to jump into the dumpster to grab all of this stuff, which I don't do very often. Um, and I don't do it when the store is open, that is for sure. I don't want to risk getting caught. Not worth it in my book. Um, I just think... Not a good idea. But this dumpster was not... Usually dumpsters are, I don't want to say clean, but they're pretty, like, not gross. Most dumpsters are not gross. But when I got in this one, it did smell a little bit gross. So I made sure to, you know, wash my clothes, wash my body, wash my hands, wash everything. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> um, but it was just a whole bunch of drinks, and I didn't take all of it. There were some more bigger things of pop and soda, stuff like that. Oh, also, I took back my cans and bottles, my returnables from when we were in lockdown. Um, in Michigan, we get 10 cents for, like, each can. And I took them all back, and I had $24.20. So that means I had, what, 200 and 242 cans 
that I hadn't been able to take back because they just opened the recycling centers again. So that was a good little after quarantine surprise, I suppose. And here we have more things to add to that. So I have a thing of Coke, just regular Coke. This one, yeah, that one had a hole in it or something because it did leak out. So I will just take that can, put it in my returnable bucket, and these can still be drank and then returned as well. This is a little case of Gosling's ginger beer. I will honestly probably give that to my parents. I was at my parents' house the other day, and I saw my mom actually drinking a ginger beer, so maybe she will want those as well. Oh, it's all alcohol, by the way. Not all of it, but like what I'm about to show you, which again, I think is so strange that they are allowed to just throw away alcoholic drinks because a kid could get them or like an underage dump dumpster diver. So I don't know the legality of that, but everybody does it. Like all the stores just throw away their alcohol, it seems. Okay, so then I have one, two, three, four, five packs of these Main and Vine spritzers. Um, I have one, this one is pomegranate flavored, and then all of these are blood orange mango flavored. I do not drink. I just don't like the flavor of it. I think it's quite disgusting, actually. Um, but if I were to drink, it would probably be spritzy stuff like this. Um, but these will probably go to my sister. I was trying to find a date on here because I'm assuming that's why they threw it out, but I couldn't. Maybe there's one on an, one of the bottles or the cans. Yeah, I'm not going to waste our time trying to find one, but I could not find one. And even if it is past its date, it's just fine. And then behind that, I have four tiny little things of Moscato. I think these are adorable. They're just little tiny wines, sweet white wine. Um, doesn't say how big they are. I don't know, 12 ounces maybe. Super cute. A little four pack of that. That's actually all the alcohol that I have. But behind that, I have a huge 24 can pack of San Pellegrino dark Morello cherry and pomegranate. That sounds pretty tasty, actually. And the date on that isn't until September of 2020, so that's still not even past its date. And there were tons more of those. This was actually on a different day. I found this on a different day than these. Um, but they were so low, and I could only reach this one like without having to get in, which, again, I'm not comfortable doing unless the store is closed. So I just took one. Hopefully somebody else was brave enough to save the rest. But I grabbed that one. And then I also have this little pack of San Pellegrino Limonata, <laughs> lemon flavored, sparkling, kind of like a pop, sparkling water. And then speaking of water, I have a pack of Dasani back here, which I always think of my grandma because that's the only bottled water she drinks. If she was closer, I would give it to her, but um, just Dasani bottled water, missing a few, but most of them are in there. And then I have three of these giant smart waters, which I will clean up and give to my sister as well because... She drinks bottled water. I mean, I would too, but I drink tap water and I have like a refillable water, but she tends to drink water bottles. So I would rather like give her ones that were already thrown away than have her buy and waste more plastic, if that makes sense. So I will give those to her and I know she will drink them. Now to the fun spot, the fun part of this haul, I used to find K-cups like nobody's business and I haven't in a while. But I am back with more K-Cups than I will ever, 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 not joking, ever use. So this bag is full of them. I have a whole bunch of Starbucks. This one is a Dunkin' Donuts variety pack. Um, what's this one? Probably also Starbucks. Nope, that one's Pete's. Um, Brazil medium roast. This one is dark roast. Dark roast. So this is from two different locations of the same store. It's a bed and bath store. One of them just kind of tore them and the other one sliced all of them but that really doesn't matter because they're all still in there all the pods um, there's some Krispy Kreme and then I have a whole bunch of hot chocolate which I love because I don't drink the coffee but I do drink hot chocolate um, this is decaf now that I look at that so that will be goat donated my family won't drink that but I will keep some um, and give the rest to my dad he's not back in the like in to work yet <laughs> And that's where he usually uses his K-cup pods, but um, he'll be there eventually. So I'll give him a bunch of those because usually they make him pay 25 cents a pod. But yes, so just tons and tons of coffee. This bag is giant, by the way, and it is filled 
with coffee, like little K-pods, K-cup pods. So that is it, guys. That's my haul for the day. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam. And like I said, I will be back, I promise. And I have some fun stuff to share with you. Thank you for sticking around with me. And uh, yeah, keep diving.